What is it really like living in Norway? All of our friends are settling down They're only kids but they're married now Let's follow the lights, let's follow the crowd Baby, we gotta get Welcome back to my channel. Today I will spill the tea on what it's like to live in Norway. I'm as Norwegian as can be. I've lived most of my life in Norway and I know that a lot of you guys are interested in the country, the people. A lot of you found me through my most viewed video, fun facts about Norwegian people. So if you haven't seen that, go ahead and give it a watch. Don't know why I would say that. Please don't watch it. It's hella awkward. <laughs> so before we get into the 17, I believe, 18 truths about living in our way, we need to thank today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. So Skillshare is an online learning community for creators. And if you follow me on Instagram these days, you would know that we are all creative beings. So on Skillshare, there are more than 30,000 different classes in all types of fields, business, photography, writing, you name it, taking the most perfect Instagram photo, how to edit it and much more. It's such a cool and fun and easy way of improving your skills, getting into a new hobby, just learning new stuff. I picked out a couple of classes that caught my attention. One of them being Storytelling 101. I will leave the links to the classes down below so you can check it out as well. And the other one being a lifestyle photography class. Lifestyle photography is obviously a part of my job. Um, I can never be outlearned so I'm very excited to get some new tips and tricks. So premium memberships at Skillshare will give you unlimited access to all the amazing classes and there are already over 7 million people that are on Skillshare learning. It's a great way of talking to and learning with other like-minded creative people. So to the fun part, Skillshare is giving away a free 2 month unlimited access trial to my subscribers who click on the link down below and after that it's only about $10 a month. So I would highly recommend you to go and do that. You can use it for your career or as a hobby. I click the link down below. What is it really like living in Norway? These points are obviously very generalizing. Um, but just go with me on this one, okay? We are all handymen and we like to do things ourselves. If it's painting, building a cabin, chopping down a Christmas tree, fixing a light bulb, doing the plumbing. When I've been in other countries and lived in other countries, it seems like it's more of a culture of calling someone who is an expert in that area, but here we try to do everything ourselves. We have like 10 celebrities in our way. That's obviously an exaggeration, but we just have a handful of celebrities that are in magazines, on TV, in movies, and they kind of rotate on who they use for that. We don't have paparazzi, and if you see a celebrity in the street, it's kind of like, oh, that's that guy I see every day at the grocery store, the guy that hooked up with my friend, the guy that's the son of my mom's friend. It's a very small country. I would say we're very in tuned with nature. Obviously this has changed a lot, but to some degree I would say that we're still very active outdoors. It's still a huge part of our culture to go tenting, hiking, skiing, fishing, running in the woods. We have cabins up on the mountains, down by the sea, um, in the woods. We take ice baths, we go snowboarding, ice skating you name it. And when we're in nature, we kind of know how to move about it. We know how to start a fire. 
other people do. I clearly don't know how to do that. We bring with us a stormköken, waffelröre, and we cook up food in nature. Speaking of food, we don't eat out much. It's very expensive and it's just not a part of our culture really. We like to cook at home, we like to cook from the bottom up. What? And when we go out, when we go to school, to work, traveling, we bring matpake. The winter is very long, very dark, very cold, very sad. So depending on where you live in Norway, if you live above the polar circle, for example where I'm originally from, Lofoten, the sun doesn't come above the horizon during winter, so it's like dark 24-7. And the opposite when it's summer, so the sun is above the horizon 24-7. So we call that the midnight sun during summer and Merkitia, the dark times during winter. So we have four seasons during the year, but winter starts during fall and ends during spring. So we kind of have winter six months a year, if it's a bad year most years basically and it can go down to like minus 20 degrees celsius during winter and plus 30 degrees celsius during summer uh, but more kind of normal is minus 10 degrees i guess during winter and plus 20 during summer so this is a random one but i just it's something that came to mind we drink a lot of milk. I think we're one of the top countries in how much milk people drink. Cow's milk, that is. It's kind of shoved down our throats from a very young age. As I said, we don't have like warm lunch uh, in school, so you need to bring your own lunch, but they do serve milk. Um, as I've said before, people are very closed off, introverts not very welcoming to strangers and they keep to their group of people so it's not very uncommon that you have the same friends from when you're young throughout your entire life so if you're an immigrant good luck we love the sun so we travel abroad as much as we possibly can so we take very exotic adventurous trips to Granka every year where we meet up with the 350,000 other Norwegian people that go there every year uh, that also needs a drink and some vitamin D. It's very safe in Norway, so you could leave your stuff outside, your expensive skis, your backpack, your stuff, running into the bathroom and come out again and it wouldn't be stolen. This sounds very posh, but I forgot my Louis Vuitton backpack at the tram this summer and it took me a few hours before I could get to it and um, because I didn't have a car I could follow the tram so it whatever and yeah a few hours later it was still there all the stuff was still inside cash my wallet some jewelry so yeah it's not uncommon to not lock your door to leave your stuff outside obviously I wouldn't gamble on doing that but it's pretty safe. So you can't really have a car in Oslo anymore. It's very expensive with parking and taxes and it's not really parking anymore in Oslo but the um, public transportation is really good. We got like metro, trams, trains, buses, uh, those electrical scooters, uh, city bikes. So that's usually how people get around. People usually take public transportation, walk or a bike to their work and to school and to basically get around in general. To get around other parts of Norway you can take a train or take a car or a plane. We drink tap water, you know that expensive water bottle called Voss that you see around the world that is Norwegian tap water. With all the nature and activities around us we still have gym memberships. Baked goods, pastries, breads are different than any other country. It's just better. We drive to Sweden to buy cheap tobacco, alcohol, meat, candy and soda. So most people in Norway stay the same place throughout their entire life. 
It's also very common to own your own place and we're also one of the top countries in the world that renovates the most and kind of redecorate and buy new furniture and fix it up. Uh, and as I said, we like to do it ourselves. And we also love those extreme makeover home edition programs. Or is that just me? I just love them. Oh, they're so much fun. We still haven't gotten control over the polar bears. Um, so it's not uncommon to see a polar bear out in the street. Um, so just don't look it in the eye if you see one. We talk a lot about the weather in Norway. And I bet that most of you from other countries are like, oh yeah, we do that too. But no, then you haven't been to Norway. We talk a lot about it. But it's not without reason because the weather is unpredictable and crazy here. So a typical life for a person in Norway. You go to school from age 6 until 20 I believe, then you take a gap year where you travel the world, go partying, then you go and study, you buy an apartment, you get a job, most likely the same as what your parents did and what all your friends are doing, then you hang out with friends on the weekends, and you meet a partner through Tinder or at Monkey Bar in Oslo and then you get engaged and the next year you get married and the year after you have a baby and you live happily ever after. And those were a few truths about living in Norway. Let me know down below if you can relate, if it's the same in your country, if you are from Norway and you highly disagree with me because I bet there are some people that do. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Remember to check out Skillshare down below. Love you very much. Be kind. Bye!